Have you heard of cashback credit cards? What about rewards credit cards? Do you know the difference aside from them being credit cards? Well, let me tell you the difference. Cashback credit cards reward you with cold, hard cash when you swipe to pay for stuff. These purchases should fall under the categories and listed by each card. It can include groceries, travel, petrol, entertainment, and online shopping to name a few. Different cards offer different cashback rates. Some can give you as low as 0.2%, but there are those that offer up to 15%. Plus, each cashback credit card have a monthly cap for cashback, which can go up as high as 100 ringgit. So, if you're considering getting a cashback credit card, make sure you pick the one that rewards you the most for the spending category you will frequently use it for. Now that's cashback credit cards. What about rewards credit cards? These types of credit cards let you earn the reward points based on the amount that you spend. You can use these points to redeem a wide range of items from electrical appliances, electronic gadgets, shopping vouchers, and even air miles. Some rewards credit cards offer points multipliers for every ringgit you spend, allowing you to collect points at a faster rate. But different banks have different redemption rates for their rewards points. So, be sure to check its value before jumping for the credit card that gives you 10 times more points. Now that you have a gist of what these two types of credit cards are, which one should you consider getting? Well, it depends on what you want to get out of credit card spending. Cashback credit cards reward you in cold, hard cash to offset your spending. But rewards points allow you to redeem things for free after collecting enough points. Here's a suggestion. Consider getting a rewards credit card only if you travel regularly. Redeeming air miles for free flights offer the highest value for your rewards points and at a rate that's better than even the best cashback credit cards can offer. Imagine flying business or even first class for free. That's what smart consumers do and why they always prefer rewards credit card over cashback cards. With that said, cashback credit cards are straightforward and it does not require any further action to redeem anything. Cashback will always be credited to your card statement by the end of the month. And if you think a cap of 50 ringgit per month is too little, you should add it up over one year. Plus, owning multiple cashback cards means that much more cashback. We've heard stories of people earning over 2,000 ringgit in cashback per year just by paying for essential bills and family expenses. Either way, it really depends on what you want to get out of your credit card. To learn more about cashback and rewards credit cards, check out ringgitplus.com. Hashtag do it the easy way.